Now, are you ready to have some fun with fungi? In the last few years, the variety of mushroom, I'm talking about fresh mushroom, available for home cooks, have really mushroom. Would you believe there are over 38,000 types of mushroom in the world? And let me show you a few that we'll be using, that you can find it in all the supermarkets. Here, of course, we have the most familiarized button mushroom, white button mushroom, fresh button mushroom. We have the small shiitake mushroom, and we also have the brown button mushroom. We have the oyster mushroom. And then, we, of course, we have the enoki mushroom. Here, we also have some fresh cloud ear black mushroom. And then also have sliced. You can also buy sliced mushroom in the market. And this is interesting. This is fresh wood ear mushroom. Look at that. Also called elephant ear mushroom. And this is used in a lot, a great variety of Chinese dishes. And of all of these mushrooms that we'll be using to do a number of dishes. So the first dishes I'm gonna do, the first dish I'm gonna do show you is the triple mushroom roundup. That means I'm gonna use three different kinds of mushroom to do a variety of dishes. Okay, here you notice that mushrooms are wonderful because mushrooms have a very delicate flavor. And also, I would like to keep them clean and simple. Don't do too much to mushroom because they absorb and take in a lot of the flavor. So you can, for in interesting, this particular mushroom dish is a very simple dish and yet very, very delicious. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna use this. Put this spinach, put right here, I'm gonna put the spinach in the bottom of the dish and Poke up my mushroom to make it look nice and also nutrition, even more balanced. First, we're gonna have some boiling water. We're gonna put some mushroom, uh, put some spinach right here and loose this. Stir it a little bit with the chopstick so they're nice and even. Don't cook it over too much. Anything green, you wanna make sure to put a tiny bit of oil to keep that nice green, bright pigment. And also a teeny tiny bit of salt to flavor it, okay? We'll let it cook. In the meantime, I'm gonna get up some try Chinese uh, shiitake mushroom. Most of these mushrooms are beautiful because, look at that, we put this old whole thing up. This is shiitake mushroom, fresh. Now, most of these are grown in Monterey Peninsula in California, okay? They produce some of the best mushroom. Put it right here, set it aside. Set it aside, put it right here. We saute this, this is the shiitake mushroom. They are very available all year round. And they also have a woodsy and meaty flavor, which is very, very nice. It's got a nice brown. They sometimes call it black forest mushroom or call it golden oak mushroom. And this is of course the fresh mushroom also from the Monterey area. And then we cut it up. When you choose mushroom, you gotta know that the size of mushroom is not the indication of quality. Small one, medium one, big one, they're just as good. Make sure you get some nice, firm mushroom, white, firm one mushroom, and it's firm and it's nice. Also, we gotta pick up some oyster mushroom right here, okay? Oyster mushroom. So we put them all together. This is nice enough, we don't, just cut it in half, okay? Just cut it in half. And the great thing about this, why we're doing this, we are going to stir fry our mushroom. Now, first of all, have the tiny bit of oil, not much. A lot of people don't realize mushroom is also very, very high in protein and also a lot of fiber, so it's good for you. In fact, mushroom, oh, let's stir fry this. Mushroom is wonderful because how many of you know that mushroom was first cultivated in China, 300 BC? And then later on, Japan in 14 centuries, and until 1896 is introduced into this country. This is wonderful. Stir, stir. And then put a tiny bit of broth, okay? If you want, you can use a tiny bit of garlic and shallot to put it in and flavor it. It gives wonderful. You can use oil or butter or margarine, okay? Stir. Very good. While you're stir frying this, you get ready this. Wonderful. 
platter, get this out, and I'm gonna squeeze this. Look at this, very interesting. I'm gonna squeeze this mushroom, this a little spinach. Right here, squeeze it. Okay, put it right here. Get the water out. And then put it right over here because we are going to use this as a bottom of a, to perk it up in the meantime. Toss the mushroom. Now shiitake mushroom and oyster mushroom and butter mushroom, the reason why they're so good is because they are available all year round. So you can use it in a lot of dishes, in salad, in stir fry, in soup, salt, sugar, and a tiny bit of sugar, and also thicken up with a tiny bit more extra broth and sesame seed oil. And then we'll thicken it up. Very, very good. The great thing about mushroom is also, of course, you can stuff them, you can stir fry them, and the whole thing is fresh triple mushroom round up. It's right here. Oh. Sizzling, hot, light, and delicious, and most of all, absolutely healthy. Now, we just have show you how to do a triple mushroom round up with all the fresh mushrooms. Everybody in this country or around the world love the Chinese style fried rice. And this is a lighter version called the jasmine rice with shiitake and fresh oyster mushroom. I also have a few slices of butter mushroom. Now, first of all, I want to quickly introduce you to a couple of things. This is jasmine rice right here. I already have shown you some time ago. And you can buy them in a bag like this, okay? They're normally imported from Thailand, from Thailand. They buy it normally in a 10 pound, a 15 pound, or 25 pound bag, okay? We set it aside. And then I also have some jasmine tea. This jasmine tea, and this way, we will infuse some jasmine tea here. This is jasmine tea infused in water so you have Mmm, very, very aromatic. Now you can have oolong tea, but this is jasmine rice with jasmine flavor. So we're gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is this rice is already somehow rinse it, okay? So that means it's rinse it once. Anytime you buy rice from import, you should always rinse it a little bit. But you buy rice in this country already, wrap it up and saran up, you don't necessarily have to rinse it because they already have fortified vitamin. They have fortified niacin and thiamine. And you put this over here, put this, and you are going to cook it with this very unique jasmine, inf jasmine tea infused water. Use one portion of rice to about one and a half portion of tea, jasmine tea. And then you cover this up and let it simmer for approximately, you, you can cover it like this or you can let it boil until most of the water is evaporated. And then you see crater hole, and then you cover up and reduce the heat to a, let it simmer for approximately 18 minutes. In the meantime, you're gonna stir fry the mushroom right here, okay? Because you want to top with the mushroom. So we're gonna turn this up high. And then we'll put up a tiny bit of oil, put a tiny bit of oil, okay? Of course, you can use butter and margarine too if you want, if you get used to it. But you can use just regular vegetable oil. And I put a tiny bit of shallot, Wow, look at this. And a tiny bit of green onion. And then, while I'm getting all this flavor out, I can also chop up some fresh mushroom. Butter mushroom, butter mushroom. Very nice and firm. And also shiitake mushroom, cut it up. And then we are going to put them all together and saute. Oh, look at that, this is gonna be very exciting. Stir. Stir. Make sure I put a tiny bit of wine. Oh. A tiny bit of soy sauce. And a tiny bit of salt. 
toss. And then if you want, you can use a teeny tiny bit of chicken broth to make sure. Wow, look at that. Stock. And then, all of these mushrooms are nice and give wonderful texture, nutrition to your dish. And not only that, look at that. We have the rice here, we can put it here, or we can put it over here, okay? When this is done, this is beautiful. You can make a little sauce, make a little sauce and thicken it up with cornstarch solution. As I said, you always thicken it up with a tiny, tiny bit of one portion of cornstarch with about two or three portion of water. And then, this is very colorful. And then all you have to do is put this rice right over this jasmine tea. Infuse jasmine rice. Look at this. It's a very unique version, a lighter version of your favorite fried rice. Jasmine rice with jasmine tea with shiitake and oyster and button mushroom. So far, we have been cooking mostly with fresh mushrooms. But in Asian cooking, dry mushrooms are also very popular. You know, a mushroom is about 90% water, so when you dry it, they become very flavorful, very intense, concentrated flavor. Dry mushroom can be quite expensive, but don't worry, you don't really have to use too much. Let's go to do some mushroom market analysis at the dry mushroom market in Hong Kong. One of the most widely used and most popular ingredient in Chinese cuisine is, of course, shiitake mushroom. The Chinese is called donggu. It is a very good dehydrated dry black mushroom. The price can range anywhere from $12 US a pound to about $75 US a pound. Depends on the size and the shape on where they're from. They add aroma, they add flavor, and a meat texture to all your wonderful dishes. For instance, these are baby ones. This is approximately about $15 to $70 US a pound. And the medium ones is approximately $24 to $30 a pound. And then here, you have something about $40 to $75 a pound. Depends on how they package it. All of these are my favorite ingredient. Aside from all of these mushrooms, they also have another type of fungus, which is wood ear. Okay, this is called mo yi. This is supposedly reduce your chance of heart disease because it slows down the blood clot. And they also have the wan yi, which is cloud ear. See, they're smaller, they're all black fungus, they're all mushroom type. Aside from this, it's also very popular, it's the black moss. Have you ever seen? You widely used in a lot of Chinese vegetarian dishes. Look at that. <laughs> Now, it is time for more mushrooms for my next dish, East Meets West pasta dish. I call it pasta with shrimp and fresh mushrooms in garlic chili sauce. All we have to do is have all of these mushrooms. Now, a lot of people don't realize mushroom is actually very easy to clean up, and you should not wash or clean up the mushroom too early, you should do it in the last minute. And also, don't soak the mushroom in cold in water. If you want to rinse it, just rinse it in cold water. Or you can clean up with this mushroom brush, like that, look at that. Very easy. This way, they don't even soak up any water. Very easy to clean up. After it's clean up, all you have to do is slice it up. A lot of people always say, how come you cut it so fast? Because I don't have that much patience and you put it right over here, and we save all of these all together. And here, I also, besides the fresh button mushroom, we also have straw mushroom. We also have, of course, the black shiitake mushroom. You can use fresh or dry. And we also have a tiny bit of purple onion. Let me cut up this julienne, this, and get ready. Set it aside and put it right here. And then after this is done, we're gonna put it right over here. Now. You cannot make a pasta dish unless you get ready some pasta. This is one of my favorite, spinach pasta. You can color coordinate your pasta. You can add beet in pasta to make um, purple color pasta. You can add carrot to make orange color. And you can add egg to make it like a pink. Put it over here and let it boil in this wonderful pot. And then we're ready to stir fry. 
Now, while I'm heating up this wok, I'm gonna cut up a tiny bit of shallot. Make sure you always coordinate the movement of your finger, okay? In the right direction. Always make sure firm grip and push the blade against your knuckle. So this way you're actually doing downward forward, downward forward, downward forward. It's just that sometimes I go so fast, you wouldn't know the movement. And you set it aside and you put it here. And of course, make some nice ginger. Cut up some ginger and mince them. Oh, done. Mince ginger. Oh, oh, done. Mince ginger. Oh, done. Mince ginger. And after this ginger is ready, all the mushroom is ready, we're ready to cook. Heat up your wok. Oh, over high heat. Get ready. This wok, you get a well seasoned wok. Make sure the wok is hot enough. Whenever you do any stir fry, okay, particularly when you're doing meat, put a tiny bit of oil, move them around. Wow, you can tell it's hot. Some garlic and ginger and shallot. Wow, exciting. <laughs> and then put some, in the meantime, while I'm stir frying that, I want to show you how easy it is to do butterfly. This shrimp and cut it in half. Look at that, line them all up, you go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Done. Oh, how fast. And you put them all together and you stir this in. Stir this in. Stir. It's hot. You cook until they're lightly pink. Okay. If you want, you can cook this separately. You don't want to overcook them. Toss them this way. Nice uniform cooking. Also, great exercise. Work up your appetite. Okay. Oh, look at this. Very simple to do. Nice and pink. When it's nice and pink, you put it back here. You can do the mushroom. Look at this. And then you can do the mushroom. Put all the mushroom and the purple onion, right green onion or onion, and all kind of mushroom, fresh mushroom. Saute. And put a tiny bit of chicken broth or water. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at that. A lot of time when you buy mushroom, you know that? Sometimes they're in bags in little saran wrap containers. And that is good because it keeps the mushroom nice and fresh. And also, most good mushroom, firm white mushroom can be kept for several days in your fridge. Now, let's flavor it with a tiny, tiny bit of sesame seed oil. If you want, you can use olive oil, okay? Olive oil, tiny bit of soy sauce, and now it comes to the exciting part. We're gonna use a teeny tiny bit of garlic chili, garlic flavored chili sauce, okay? To make this very unique and very different. You continue to move. And this is done. Oh, look at that. This is done. Pick this out. I am gonna show you how unbelievably simple. Take this out. Don't rinse it. Good pasta doesn't have to be rinsed. Put it right over here. Okay, look at this, how beautiful. And then, in the meantime, toss these, toss these, put the shrimp back. And then if you want, you can put a tiny bit of chopped Italian parsley. Okay, oh, this is so marvelous. Can you hear, can you smell it? Can you see the steam? I hope you can smell it at home. This is wonderful. You can see how I turn and move around and allow more uniform mixing. That's why every single piece is wonderful. And you turn it off and you are ready to toss this in to here. And this is, oh, can you hear the sizzling sound? Sizzling sound. I save half of these for myself because I love these pasta. That's the reason why I want to garnish this with even more chopped Italian parsley and garnish it just like that. It's very simple, beautiful, wonderful spinach pasta with mushroom. <laughs> Fungus for dessert, why not?
in Chinese cooking, we use this snow white dry fungus called su yi in dessert soups, in formal dinners. All we have to do is make sure to also have some rock sugar to flavor it, just like the Chinese chef do. This is a piece of rock sugar. I'm gonna dump this little piece in here and let it boil and dissolve it. In the meantime, I'm gonna lift this dragon kiln double boil steamer. See this special lid? First, one lid, and then you lift it this way, complete seal of steam and flavor. And then I'm gonna break up some of these fungus, su yi, right here. Break them all up. So this way we're gonna steam, double steam. You see, we'll put this in a steam bath. The steam would cook and boil up, bring the liquid in the inside this double boiler to a boil, so called double steam, double boil. And then when this is dissolved, and we put this right in here, okay? And then we'll put this, set this aside, cover this up like that, and put in a steam bath. Now I'm gonna give this dragon kale in a steam bath right here, put it right in here, and we'll cover this up with this lid, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna get ready some of these papaya and cantaloupe. Papaya is one of my favorite food. It's also very popular in all over Southeast Asia. I'm gonna use this little melon baller to scoop it out. A little round ball like this. Round ball. Okay, very simple. And then, to add some extra aroma and flavor, I also use some uh, cantaloupe. In fact, the best cantaloupe is grown in the west side of the San Joaquin Valley, the best in the world. They're normally the best cantaloupe is available from July to September, okay? Nice, firm. Make sure you pick the medium right one. Sir, it adds color, aroma, and texture to our dish. When this is all nice and done, let's remove these, and then take this around here. And then in the meantime, I am going to put this, because I have been steam bathing, double boiling, the white fungus the snow white fungus, also called the su yi. Don't do this at home, it's not safe. <laughs> and then, in the meantime, I scoop in and put this right in here because I have been steaming this, double steam this, for approximately half an hour to 45 minutes. In order to really have the flavor permeate, you need to do it for about one and a half hour. And when it's done, you cover this whole thing up again and let it double boil, okay? In the meantime, of course, we have one already done for you right here. All you have to do is open it up while you serve and scoop out all this wonderful flavor, like syrup, papaya, and cantaloupe to get that nice, delicious, light, dessert that everybody loves in formal Chinese banquets. Whether you decide to get fresh or stay cut and dry, mushrooms and fungus will help you add flavor, character to all your dishes. I hope you take the time to make room for mushrooms in your own kitchen. Have fun with fungi, and remember, if Yen can cook, so can you. Jia Jian.